welcome to something very exciting on my channel, my first unboxing video. And if you've not already seen by the box, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, it's pretty dark um, writing on a black box, basically. Um, I bought a Rock Atlas 4.0. This is not a paid or sponsored video. I bought this with my money. Rock did not do this to me. And I was watching a lot of the, the hype from Chase on Two Wheels channel, which y'all know is sponsored writer. But he does, um, you know, throw, you know, plus and minuses stuff, I feel like, um, honestly, with not, without sugarcoating it. Um, but Gears and Gadgets, uh, he went to the pre-launch event where he does live out west, where they did in Vegas this year in January, about four to five weeks before it was announced to the general public. And they gave him one for free for testing um, to try out. Um, those of you who don't know, he's the one that cut an Atlas 3.0 and just totally was against it, mainly the interior lining of the helmet more than anything else. And the fact you can't shut, at least on the 3.0, you couldn't shut the forehead vent off and on when it was, you know, colder riding weather. Those of you who ride a bike know exactly what I'm talking about. When it's cold, if you have, especially the forehead vent open, it is really cold. Um, especially on a bike that doesn't have a lot of wind protection. Um, but, like I said, um, I bought this in my own money. I bought the liquid carbon one. Um, and actually, Gears and Gadgets actually said, um, I've had two showy RF-1200s before this one. Um, and I was going to buy RF-1400, maybe. I wasn't really for sure what I was going to get yet. But I thought I'd go on a limb, try something different. Um, this is an unboxing. I did get it out of the big box. Um, but I've not opened this yet. Um, this is a true unboxing. But I will say that, you know, um, Gears and Gadgets, after riding with it, the, the Rock 4.0 Atlas, um, he said that he's going, he likes the Atlas better. And that's saying something. Um, I do think his reviews and opinions are totally unsugarcoated and real. Um, so that's what this is review and unboxing is going to be. I bought the rock sizing is kind of strange. I followed the sizing chart. Um, my head, I think it measured 58, 57 centimeters, the best that, that I can remember. Well, that is almost a little over the middle of the sizing chart. Um, their sizing is a little weird compared to like showy. Showy's is like extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, this is actually medium large is what Rock calls it. I'm, just, I'm like I said, almost right in the middle of the size chart. Um, I bought the liquid carbon one. And my only really gripe with this helmet so far in the buying experience before wearing it is, you know, you got a mid-level four to five hundred dollar helmet. Most of those helmets in that price range, um, even starting in the low 400s and even some cheaper than that already come with a pin lock if the shield is pin lock ready. So having to buy a pin lock don't really 100% agree about that, but I'm nitpicking. So, um, but I'm gonna unbox this. Um, so y'all, what all comes in the box, and we'll, I'm gonna go from there, and I'm gonna try it on, and give you my first impressions review on it. I haven't wrote in it yet, obviously, because I'm just unboxing it, but um, I feel like maybe I'm gonna ride with it about a month after after I get um, my comm unit, um, uh, uh, Cardo Pack Talk Black on there, I'm gonna ride with it for about a month, you know, put four to 500 miles on it. Um, it's riding season now, it's early May, um, but we do, we'll have still some cold mornings and stuff now, so that'll get a good, I think a good temperature range difference on, um, you know, how it's like in the cold, um, you know, does that, does, um, do you feel cold air leaking around the visor, how well the visor seals, all that kind of stuff. And then I'll report back then after I've done so. Um, I may or may not do that video, but I feel like it's a good thing to do because um, for those of you who first impressions, you know, yeah, that means a, a little bit, but riding in it a lot and living with it day to day, um, you know, in colder temperatures, hotter temperatures, testing out the airflow, I, f I feel like that matters more than first impressions. But I'm gonna go ahead and get done boxing this and quit rambling, sorry. Get a long-winded sometimes, and I'm still kind of new to this whole vlogging camera setup in the garage because I'm usually just a motor vlogging channel. But I do enjoy this. This is fun and it's a new thing that I've started to do and I've done um, several other stuff like this in my channel, like my gloves I have and stuff like that. Um, 
Anyways, let's get to it. So I tried to set the tripod up um, so you can see me and the box. Couldn't get it too high because then you'd see the top of the box and my head would be like blow it. So I apologize if it's a little wonky, but this is the best I can do. So the box literally has, I don't know if the camera, um, it has this rock thing and it's all printed and mountains and stuff. And it's, it's a really cool presentation, um, you know, and... Um, one thing I can say about the shipping of this, I'm in Tennessee and this come from all the way in the UK. Um, FedEx, at least the, the FedEx, you know, that many changeovers and switches, the box arrived like pristine, not crushed. It didn't look like it had been thrown by anybody, which is good because, you know, it's just a box inside of a box. So if somebody did like set something heavy on it, probably would damage it, which oddly enough, there were no fragile stickers on it. I don't get that, but whatever. Um, you know, and then you have more Atlas 4.0 stuff right here. And you have an Atlas and a 4.0 there. So that's cool. Um, but, you know, uh, I am excited to try this out. Here's the pen lock that I spoke about that goes on your visor. Those of you who don't know what this is, this basically acts kind of like a thermopane window in a house. Where it creates a vapor barrier between the visor and this and it has like silicone on it um all my showies have had this and i've always used them they work really well um, but they do wear out after some time they will start barely fogging up so this is not a one time have forever purchase but neither is a helmet if you go buy you know the three to five to four to five year thing anyway so um, i usually buy one of these at least for my showy about every two years and it's still doing pretty well then so there's that and and these do come um, with a a really, um, I've watched some of this other review stuff, so I kind of know what to think, but I'm, I'm doing this in my own version. Uh, these do come with a, they ship with a clear visor on them, and you get a, just a regular dark smoke. Probably not really going to be able to tell because of the sticker on it um, very much, but it is, you know, you can maybe be able to tell from that. But there's the actual pin lock part there where the pin lock goes. So, I'm going to try to stand up here and not be too much out of frame. I do apologize. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Besides the helmet, nice silky bag. And that um, the extra visor bag is really nice too. This is um, something if you don't run a comms unit to help fill in your whole spot to help try to seal it against your ears. Um, I won't be using this because I'm going to put my cardo in it. But... There's that option if some people, they like listening to music, like running comms. Some people um, just run like an earbud from their phone. Um, I don't know how that spacing would work if you'd still be able to get in there, but your results may vary. Um, but I mean, you know, the box itself, you know, it's really contoured around it where it sits down in there real well. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. But, you know, nice box. Um, I have seen, let me get this out of the way so y'all can see the helmet a little better. Um, I have seen, and I don't see that in mine, which sucks, but whatever. Um, a lot of the people that done unbox some of these, they come with a little rock keychain, and mine didn't come with it, um, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I might try to reach out to, um, oh, I got my mic hooked, sorry, hold on. Um, might try to reach out to Rock. Um, maybe they might send me one out. Um, but supposedly, the uh, the liner, like what I spoke of earlier, has been really, um, you know, well engineered. And uh, the chin curtain here, but just by first impressions, my Shoei R1200. Um, the chin curtain has like little holes here, which let a little bit of air in. Like when it's kind of warm, that I usually run it pretty much most of the time because i don't want to have to take it on and off or end up losing it or or breaking it and then i have to buy another one especially motor vlogging you know that air that goes up underneath your chin that's another very uh barrier to keep out wind noise that's kind of why i pretty much run mine year round most people only run this like uh, maybe when it's cold but i just leave mine on there but that neoprene on that is really thick and super like neoprene like silky smooth and Another thing with the rocks, and I've seen this at a, one of the, the progressive uh, motorcycle show I went to um, end of last year in 2021. Uh, 
this Finlock thing is pretty cool. There's no D-ring. It's just kind of like, it has like a magnet or something, and it literally, right there, once you get it lined up and it stays, and you adjust it here, and once you have it adjusted, you can literally, if you like, you know, some of us do, I still do it to this day. I've rode for seven years. You'll get all, you know, get the bike all pushed out, get the bike warmed up, get your gloves on, and then realize, go down the road, your helmet's D-ring is flopping because you forgot to undo it. And this would be really easy. You could just pull over real quick, gloves on, and literally all you do is line that up and do that. And this little red tab sticking out, you just pull that and it releases. So, cross your fingers with me, everyone. Hope this fits. Um, this may look a little weird, but new helmets are always um, a little rough at first, and I'm sure this is not going to be different. But the padding right here, uh, this neck roll, all this feels really nice and I hate to say it, but just as good as a showy, maybe even a little better. Because um, the showies, they're real soft, but they're more of a carpet feel, kind of. And this is more like, almost like a silk carpet. I don't really know how to describe it. I don't know if that makes sense. But like I said, we're going to try it on and see what I feel like here. It may look a little weird, but I'll do my best. And hopefully you can hear me once I get this on with a mic. But it is pretty snug. That's for sure. Oh, my ears folded back. Um, but, you know, uh, the helmet feels like right in here. Um, feels like these cheek pads come up even higher than like my showy. And um, it feels like it really cups this part of your head better and more instead of like cheek pads just being like right here. They come up higher so they feel like they really hold your head in more. Which is interesting. Um, never felt that. But let's see how it is getting it back off here. Oh, that's pretty snug. But um, it will break in. All new helmets do. Um, you know, typically all, um, all the helmets I've had, you know, maybe 7, 8, maybe 10, 12 hour rods. Um, They'll break in a little different, and I'm sure this one will break in different because first rock I ever had. So um, I don't know. Well, it's yet to be seen, but um, I'm excited to try this out and see what it does. Um, but the liquid carbon, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's a liquid carbon and a matte carbon. I chose the liquid carbon because although the rock designs are cool, um, I just. I'm not that much of a flashy person with all the, the tea through here and all that stuff. Um, but the new one does have, those of you aren't aware, it does have on right here, where the old one had a vent here that you had to put the, um, the plugs in from the inside to block them off. This has a switch. And it's, it's kind of small, like, a, like the showy. I keep, I'm sorry if I keep um, comparing it to that, but I don't have anything really else compared to. But it's kind of like, you know, the Shelby's, they have a, a big vent here and a big vent here, like RF-1200s, and they have, like, the one in the middle, and it feels very similar to that. It might be a little tough with gloves on. I don't know if you'd be able to do this going down the road. At least you shouldn't. Um, but, like, at a red light or pull over somewhere and just flip it open. Um, but that may break in over time and not be so tough, but it's kind of small. Um, you know, it's a, it's a fairly small nub, so, mm, uh, but we'll see. Um, but the visor feels really nice. Like as far as that last detent and this big tab right here, um, like my showy, this tab on the showy even is smaller, which makes it kind of difficult to find with a gloved hand. But this feels even better actually, um, which is nice. The detents are really solid, um, and it just it feels like a nice helmet. Well, uh, all that is yet to be seen. So we'll see. Uh, you know what it's like to ride in and like I said if you want my I'm going to report back later with like a one month review or like 500 mile review or whatever or a thousand mile review whatever I can ride in a month and um, see what I think about it and share my thoughts and opinions with um, the people watching my channel so I'm trying to grow the channel um, but those of you who do watch and comment every week I do appreciate it I don't always have time to reply all the comments uh, but I do my best so on that guys ride safe have fun We'll see you in the next one.